Cristo, The Breakfast Club, starring Rick Kelly. I'm Sean McDevitt. Please join us today for our guests, Rush Limbaugh, Brian Sakan, Mike Garcia, and maybe, just maybe, Bob Jordan. <laughs> Bob Jordan. He's home, he's home sleeping right now. Did you say Rush Limbaugh? Did I hear that correctly? Yes, correct. Is he going to be joining the show? Is that, yes. is that confirmed by promotions director Cliff Alvarez? As far as we can tell. Unbelievable, huh? Good morning to you. This is uh, day 10 of the Breakfast Club show. And at the end of yesterday's show, day 9, we were on our hands and knees requesting uh, you to contact our general manager, Flo Donaldson, and ask her, uh, please uh, do not spank, spank us anymore. Brian, you can come on in. And uh, we got some response <laughs> from our five listeners. Hey. You know that? Really? We got our response from our five listeners. And uh, we got those faxes yesterday at 256-5090. And, Brian, what did we get? We got one from Maria, right? Yeah, yeah. It says, please stop spanking Rick and Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. But uh, no shot, so it's okay if they spank me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that the inference? When I was reading that yesterday, I felt sorry for Sean. It's like, go ahead and spank, spank Sean. <laughs> well, we got also uh, another one from a State Farm Insurance, the uh -huh. local office on East Main Street. It says, uh, Flo, on behalf of the staff at State Farm Insurance, Tom Allen, agent, please do not spank, in capital letters, spank the Breakfast Club. They do a wonderful Slap. job, and I think they'll be pulling in a lot of listeners to KDUC. They have a great show and play great music. Good job, Rick, Brian, and Sean. Oh, well, they got you in there, Sean. Yes. They got you in there. Hey, there we go. Although they misspelled my name. <laughs> KDUC time right now is 624. Keep listening for Spacey Kasem coming up in just a few. I'm Kelly Warren with KDUC AccuTraffic. And uh, Kelly, I need you to join us for our every morning chant. You guys ready for this? Nine. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Donuts, 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 donuts. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Do we, do we hear Kelly in the background? Oh, yeah. Kelly, now you have to go solo. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Donuts, donuts. <laughs> donuts. <laughs> That's Kelly with traffic. And again, we'll hear Kelly at the at 730. <laughs> Is that right? 6.30, 7.30, yes. Yeah. All right, Kelly, we'll talk to you again next hour. Adios. We love you. Love you, too. All right, bye-bye. And uh, so, again, we're waiting on our donuts to arrive for day 10 of the Breakfast Club show. Uh, this is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God. Yay! Yeah. This is the Breakfast Club show. Rick Kelly in the morning, KDAC time right now, 6.34. And uh, Brian, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Rick. <laughs> I just love putting you up. Oh, is that wicked thing again? It's the virus from outer space <laughs> overtaking the studio. It's that Breakfast Club mystique. Uh, anyways, oh, also, uh, I just got a phone call from one of our producers outside of the radio station. Um, I forgot her name. She just joined the uh, Breakfast Club show. And uh, we are going to get some donuts today, it seems like. Oh. It looks like we're going to get some donuts from Again. Rebecca, little Rebecca, one of our ultimate uh, Breakfast Club fans. Rebecca oh. and Emily will stop on by. Now, uh, today, this, this morning, sometime within the hour or two. Have you met them already? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I just got a phone call from one of our producers, and you will get donuts today, so shut up with the donut chant. We will never shut up with the donut chicken chant. Soup, chicken soup, chicken soup, chicken, chicken soup, soup, chicken soup, chicken soup. That sounds weird. And also, we I just got word in that uh, 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 Cliff Alvarez, the promotions uh, director, uh, let us know that uh, Flipper, Flipper. That's right. We'll join the program this afternoon. I'm sorry, this morning. And uh, man, uh, oh man, he can get anybody. I mean, we can anybody. Get, the guy has connections. Cartoon from north characters, to south, west to east. Animals, what? animals. Conservative talk show host. Yes, Rush Limbaugh. Rush yeah, Limbaugh. Yeah. This uh, morning, will join the Breakfast Club show. Are we sure with that? Are yes. we positive with that? Yes. I know yes. Cliff. He always comes through on all of our guests. But Flipper, Flipper. How do you bring an animal into the show? How, how are we gonna do? How are we gonna work this out? <laughs> well, I saw this big water tank being rolled outside. Did you see that? There was around. a big truck out there, and I was yes. wondering what was inside the truck, but I had to get back inside the studio. Well, it could be Rush too. I mean, he needs a, a big storage space, you know. Uh, no, no. Oh man! And uh, of course, uh, the big request uh, from the Breakfast Club panel of judges, Spacey Kasem. Uh, hopefully, this hour, Spacey Kasem. And what we do on this is we join Spacey Kasem live from Hollywood via satellite. And uh, what we do is we pick up his uh, his long distance dedication, and uh, we can care less about his Hollywood countdown of the biggest hits. <laughs> so we just kind of jump in during his uh, his uh, long distance dedication. We think uh, this long distance dedication is about a paper boy. Okay. That's all I know is about a paper boy. But those are kind of funny, so you got to listen on that. We will jump into his show when we find out when it's uh, the right time. 
to do that. It is uh, Kato Tomodo 636, and this is The Breakfast Club Show. Good morning. Uh, let me get my music out. Good morning. What else is going to happen this morning? we got so many things lined up, so many uh, exciting things. We're going to be giving away, again, listen for that secret song. The secret song for this morning is Fleetwood Mac, Little Lies, be the 10th caller at 255. When you hear it, 255-4002. Madonna, Madonna, what is she doing on this show? I'll give this about two minutes and we might, might even cut it off. <laughs> You're listening to The Breakfast Club with Rick Kelly right here on 94.3 KBUC. Donuts, 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 Hi, this is Heidi Rasmussen, and I just won two tickets to the California Angel. This is The Breakfast Club Show. You're listening to 94.3 FM, KDUC Barstow. This is a 94 news break brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. I'm Brian Sakan, and you're not. <laughs> well, anyway, an abandoned apartment complex. Okay, this is a song. You gotta be color 10. Good morning, my name is Bruce. Please call us at 255 And this is Tito. Good morning, this is the Breakfast Club Show, 820. Woo, where's my flowers at, honey? Oh. First of all, the big news of the day, and all thanks to Mr. Promotions Director, yes, uh, Cliff Alvarez has lined up Mr. Ronald Reagan, former President of the United States, and after Ronald Reagan in studio guests, and he has not arrived yet, Mr. T will join That's the right. Breakfast Club show. But first, let's go to line uh, the special hotline number for our special in-studio celebrity guest. On the phone with us right now is Mr. Ronald Reagan. Yes. Hello, Ronald Reagan. Thank you very much. Uh, first, uh, Nancy and I would uh, like to uh, congratulate uh, Mr. Uh, Smelly on uh, his new job. <laughs> what, what's that, uh, Kelly? Uh, you're kidding. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well. Wait, 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 Mr. Ronald Reagan. I'm sorry, we really didn't introduce. Mr. Ronald Reagan is here. He's joining the Breakfast Club show with the uh, rumor of the day, Mr. Ronald Reagan. You old, tired, crunchy old man. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, here, here's the rumor of the day. Melanie Griffith's marriage KO'd by a secret lover. Melanie Griffith is madly in love with a handsome young massage therapist. And their secret romance is the shocking reason her five-year marriage to John Johnson is finally collapsing. Weeks ago, boozing, womanizing Don became suspicious when his wife was cheating on him and... Uh, wait, this is just a, this is too close to home. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Smelly? <laughs> Who, whose idea was this? Uh, uh, hey, Mr. Ronald Reagan, you're running out of time. He uh, hired uh, private eyes to find out the name of the man that, uh, well, that Melanie wait. was seen. Uh, but the Inquirer has learned the identity of Melanie's lover, which, of course, I, I never read. Uh, uh, details of the uh, five-month affair. Uh, uh, Nancy, Nancy, uh, could you give me some uh, jelly beans, please? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We're starting, you guys. Say. I think I think he's getting in. Uh, uh, <coughs> Mr. 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 Uh, former President Ronald Reagan, are you okay, sir? Uh, I think my plate just came loose. Oh no! Oh, God. <laughs> Get an RN over there. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Ronald, you, is he still there or did he leave? Ronald Reagan? I think he would have took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ronald Reagan. That's Mr. Ronald Reagan. Uh, Mr. Ronald Reagan, former president of the United States of America. Thanks for joining the Breakfast Club show and thanks for having that rumor of the day, sir. This is the Breakfast Club Show. That was Mr. Ronald Reagan. And coming up next, in studio guest, Mr. T. Mr. T. Get a time. 8.41. And has he arrived? Do you see his limo, Mr. T, out there? Is he out there? Hey, Brian, is he out there? Now, this is exciting. Yes. This the is former the... star of the I want to know. What, I want to know what the heck he's been doing all this time. Well, he's been a washed yeah, up husband. Gonna, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> you can tell him that if you want to. There he is. There he is. Mr. Ladies, and gentlemen, ladies, yes. and, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. T has joined the Breakfast uh, Club show. Kid at time right now is 8.46. Wow, he's big. Hi, Mr. T. How you hey, doing, sir? Fool. What are you doing, fool? Come here, boy. <laughs> Man, it's hot out here. 
here. Yes, it is. Real hot out here. My chains are burning my neck, boy. It's hot. <laughs> How you doing, fool? I, I'm, do, I'm doing fine, Mr. T. Thank you very much. If you want, go ahead and have a seat. Thank you, boy. <laughs> He's not so, as tall as I thought. I know. Well, what are you, about 5'10", five, 5'9"? Five, That's like? none of your business, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to be little, but I got a big package here. <laughs> hey, watch your language now. This is a family show. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. This is the Breakfast Club Show, uh, and uh, if you just tuned in, we got Mr. T live in studio. Mr. T, what has happened to your career after the 18? What have you been doing? I've been doing a lot of things, man. I've been uh, uh, sparring partnering with uh, with uh, that, that heavyweight champion, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Uh huh. That's right. I've been training him, working him hard. Uh -huh. I've also been working on my career. What you laughing at, fool? It ain't funny. Uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been working on my career. I've been working on my new commercial. What commercial is that? My new guest jean commercial, ma'am. You fit into guest jeans? Yes, I do. You, looks like you pick, pick, picked up a couple pounds. What are you talking about? I'm going to pick you up, fool. <laughs> you better stop talking about me. <laughs> In the commercial, I stand on the corner, see? Uh -huh. And a beautiful young woman come by, and she say, Are you wearing guest jeans? I say, Yeah. She drive off. Then I pick up a howitzer bazooka, and I blow up that car. Because she drove off. And it's a good commercial, man. Is it? It's playing in Europe. I cannot wait to see it in Europe, huh? Yeah. Real hot up there. <laughs> so, I, I, one, one final question, because I know your limousine is out there waiting. I guess you're going out to Los Angeles to check out the small go. Good for you. And uh, the question I have for you, how are you doing with the ladies? Because I remember back in the day, back in the day, uh, when you were with the A-Team and you did a Rocky movie. That's uh, right. You had a big following. I mean, oh, the, yeah. The big old change, you're still wearing that. Oh, yeah. Got the big change yeah, on. Yeah, Wouldn't love it. Yeah. Uh, Let me tell you something. I got a sure pickup line for all you guys out there. Okay. Go, you, guys, you guys listen up now. Guys, listen up. K-Tech time right now, 847. I stand on the corner, oh. usually at a bus stop, and I look at fine, see a fine-looking woman. Uh-huh. And I look at her, I say, in my sexiest voice, hey, girl, hey, girl, you look mighty fine on them jeans. <laughs> Why don't you come over here and put on one of my chains? <laughs> yeah, that, that. <laughs> Works every time, boy. Does it really? Yes, it does. Mr. T, Mr. T, I have, you a question. Ooh. I have a question. Can you tell me what is Boy George really like? <laughs> I'm going to kill this fool. I'm going to kill him. Who, who started that rumor? Sean, Sean, who said that rumor? Sean, you're finished. You're finished. Who started that rumor? Who said that? I'm going to kill you, boy. You know what you need? You know what you need, uh, Mr. T? You need to get a Breakfast Club t shirt so you can get some dates. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes, I think you need to get some dates. You're not the most attractive man I've seen in a while. I'm going to kill both of you, boy. You're going to die. But he's changing with the times. He no longer has a mohawk. He's wearing dreadlocks. <laughs> hey, boy. It's the 90s, man. Come on. Vanilla Ice did it. This is the Breakfast Club Show. This is Rick Kelly along with Brian and Sean. It's kind of hot in this room. I don't know yeah. if it's Mr. T's breath, but you never know. Can't make time right now. It's 8 I feel the <laughs> All right, okay, next time right now is 849. I, I, we got to thank uh, Mr. T for joining the Breakfast Club show. Has he has he left? He's gone. He's gone. Yes, thank goodness. That's it for him. <laughs> this is the Breakfast Club show. What do you guys say we play some music for the first time in about 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know what we're going to do next? We're going to make the big drawing for the big San Diego summer vacation. The big drawing for the San Diego summer wow. vacation. So all the winners we've had over the last couple of weeks, the last 10 days... Including this morning, you are eligible to pick up the San Diego uh, vacation for a family of four, which uh, each prize package includes four tickets to the San Diego Zoo, four tickets to the, to the San Diego Wild Animal Park, and four passes to SeaWorld, plus deluxe hotel accommodations at the beautiful SeaWorld uh, Sports Arena. One more try. Hi, who's this? Maria. Maria, what is your answer, please? Roger Moore. Roger Moore. How close? You guys, you guys, you guys, come. Wait, wait. Breakfast Club oh. panel of judge meetings. Oh, no. You were that close, but you're still wrong. She, people out there in Barso and Hyde. And also, we want to hear people from Victorville and Hesperia, Apple Valley. You guys are, you guys can call in. Call. No, I was going to say call collect. Don't. I'll get in trouble. No, 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 no. 255 no. <laughs> two, two, the, the half, we have half of the answer. Put it that way. We have oh, half no. of the answer. Half of the answer for the Breakfast Club uh, quickie quiz, which actor once said, I haven't had that many women, only as many as I can lay my hands on. Am I saying that too fast? At this point, <laughs> who cares? Half of the answer has already been given out. Hi, who is this? This is Leslie. And what is your answer? Dudley Moore. Dudley Moore!
it. You got it. That is a breakfast club <laughs> panel of judges in the background. Finally, after about 45 minutes, we really stumped our Barstow uh, High Desert listeners with this one, which actor once said, I haven't had that many women, only as many as I can lay my hands on. That is Dudley Moore. Thank you very much. And we need you to hang on the phone there. And what's your name again? Leslie. Leslie from? From Barstow. And uh, your last name, please. Fitzgerald. Leslie Farrell, congratulations. You picked up a Breakfast Club t-shirt. Congratulations. We'll have another quickie quiz, but probably sometime. I don't know. But we're going to do that big drawing thing coming up next. K-Duck time is 8.16. Simply Red is in the house. Good morning. I'm tired. Anyone who ever uh, open, uh, Hey, Adam, can you get the door and open up for uh, Flipper? Thank you very much. Two All right. doors, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounded like two doors <laughs> happening. And uh, where are we at here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Breakfast Club Show. Get a time, 847 Flipper. This is the Breakfast Club Show, Rick Kelly in the morning. Uh, good morning, fellas. Rick. Rick. Yes, yes. Uh, I, was, uh, I was back in the newsroom there. I was doing, listening. Doing what? Uh, writing news. Yeah, right. Go and uh, I was listening to the uh, station. What was, uh, what was that Bruce and Tito thing going on? I, I didn't. Who? What, what was that? I have, I, have, I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. I because I heard something. I don't know. I, I could have. I don't Bruce know. Bruce and was. Tito. Friends yeah. of yours. I know. I stepped out of the. I stepped out of the studio to get some uh, nice uh, coffee. Nice warm coffee. What, what, what were you doing, Sean? I don't know. What are you talking about? Nobody was on the air. No one. It was just straight music. Oh, was it? And no talk. Do you recognize voices from someplace, Brian? I'm sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I guess I must be imagining things back there. I don't know. The Breakfast Club panel of judges over the weekend. What they did a lot of work for us over the weekend. Yeah, they did. They sure did. They, uh, and I like those guys. They, they they put a lot of effort and helped make the show sound a little bit better each and every day. <laughs> no, it's not working. <laughs> this is, oh, by the way, this is day 11 of the Breakfast Club show. We Yay. made it through day 10. Thank you very much. Barstow held hostage. Yes. And uh, we're waiting on our dome nuts. Dome nuts. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're waiting on our it's donuts. It's Monday, sorry. Yeah, so we're waiting on our donuts. And if you can bring us by some donuts here at the radio station, uh, we'll, we'll do something for you. Hey, uh, Tito, can you get the door, please? Wait, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud for this one. I've, I've never even met Bob Dylan before. Bob Dylan doing? has joined the Breakfast Club show. Who's that coming in? You're good. Entourage is coming in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get a time right now. It's 8.39. Bob Dylan has hey, just uh, joined the Breakfast Club show. Uh, good morning, Mr. Bob Dylan. Hi, good morning. Have a, have a seat, sir. Have thank a seat. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you uh, for having me on the Breakfast Bowl. Very good. Yes, and my first course, I want to ask you, you were at the uh, 94 uh, Woodstock. Yes, Mr. And Nelly. That's Mr. Kelly. That's oh, right, by the way. Mr. Nelly. How you doing? That's that's, that's uh, Mr. Kelly. If you don't get it right, I'm gonna throw you out the door. Okay. How, how was the uh, 94 Woodstock, sir? Oh, it was a blast up there. As I uh, had a good old time out there. It was raining hard. Uh huh. The mud was all over the place. Everybody was covered in mud. Looked like a night at the Tropicana out there. It was pretty heavy out there. Did you have a good time, though? Did, did I had a wonderful good? time. I had a great time. I got with some of my favorite bands of today. Uh-huh. That's right. Like the, uh, what's those young kids? Uh, the uh, Red Hot Chili Puppies. And I was hanging out with the uh, Excuse me. Crash Test Mummies. Those guys were really fun to Excuse get down me. with. Excuse me, Bob. Bob, get it, get it straight. Daryl Smith. That guy is old, but he can get down with the best of them. Yeah. Bob, Bob. And my favorite rap group. <laughs> The Beastie Girls. The Beastie. Yeah. Those guys are crazy. That's the Beastie crazy. Boys. They're too and that's dumb. the Red Hot Chili Peppers, not puppies. Oh, by the way. Well, that's right. <laughs> Were you there, too? No, Bob, how have you been? Seriously. Oh, I've been doing really good, man. I've been, you know, I've been clean for a long time. You know, back, sure about in the, that? back in the 60s, I was being a, being a fool, but now I'm um, straightened as an arrow. You know what I mean? Uh, that I don't think so. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian now. I don't eat meat. <laughs> And I don't do I don't drink alcohol no more, and I don't do any type of uh, any type of foreign uh, substance. <laughs> I, but actually, I do still smoke though. I smoke 
Only organic herbs. And what was that you smoked this morning before you got here? Banana peels uh -huh. and uh, watermelon seeds. They get me going in the morning, <laughs> baby. Uh, let me ask you a question, uh, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, it's Mr. Kelly to you. That's Sir Kelly to you. That's right. How, how do you compare the original Woodstock to the Woodstock here in 94? Oh, man. Let me tell you, I was there for both of them back in uh -huh. uh, 68 and then there in 94. And, could have been 62. I don't remember it too well, but uh, uh -uh. back then it was a lot of things different than the 94. Uh -huh. Especially because, see, back then they had free pizza and they had free drinks for the kids and they had free loving back then. Uh -huh. Everything in 94 cost 20 bucks. This guy has lost it. Bob, I want to thank you for joining the Breakfast Club show. And, you know, you can stop by any time you want. Bob Dylan. All right. Thank you. Because the times they are the change. And we are still looking for that stupid human trick of the morning. Ah. And if you have a cordless phone, you can call the Breakfast Club hotline at 255-4002. Actually, I pulled a stupid human trick myself today. And what happened? Well, I got into a fender bender on the way in. You did? Yeah. You know who I hit? Who'd you hit? Larry Parker. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey can I be your friend now? <laughs> <laughs> Larry Parker got me $2.1 million. I'm Larry Parker. <laughs> Sounds like Thurston Howell. Love me. It is the Breakfast Club Show. We're looking for the joke of the day. We're looking for that stupid human trick of the day. All you got to do is call 255-4002. And again, listen for that uh, secret song to win that San Diego t-shirt and that grand prize of that San Diego getaway. The Breakfast Club show, Kata time is 6.50, and Sean, what did you just put in your mouth? It doesn't look all that great, I'm a brown a, log. I'm in love with these things. <laughs> what uh, is that? 100 grand by Nestle. <laughs> 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 hmm. No chocolate with caramel crispy. Hmm. Brian, what is happening? Folks, let me just say that, uh, you know, we're sitting here. I've got to sit really close to Sean. You know, it's not my choice, but we've got mm -hmm. a mic to share. And uh, Sean's eating his uh, 100 grand chocolate stuff and his coffee. And Gosh. <laughs> I I, I <laughs> I can't breathe in here. <laughs> Just call me Coffee Lips. <laughs> this is the Breakfast Club Show. Good morning, kid. Our time is 7.15, and we just announced that we just gave away our uh, Breakfast Club t-shirt, and we got our first, we got our first, very first winner. We, we got our very first winner for the Breakfast Club t-shirt. Now, we all know, we've been announcing this left and right, that these t-shirts, what do they do for you? It's a guarantee. They will get you a date. They get you dates. And on the phone with us now at caller 94 from Linwood. Let's find out who that is. Hi, who's this? Terry Bryson. Terry, you're calling from Linwood? Yes. Guess what? What? You are caller 94. Oh, great. And you just picked up the, the exclusive Breakfast Club t-shirt. Now, Terry, do you know what these t-shirts do for you? No. They get you dates. Date. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you already taken? Are you married? You got a man? Or... Uh, I'm taken. Like I was saying, this T-shirt would be no good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't wear it. Don't wear it anywhere. Don't, don't wear it anyway because. Just wear it at home. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We don't want a divorce or separation because no. of our, our guaranteed Breakfast Club exclusive T-shirt. If you're a man, it accentuates your muscles, and if you're a woman, it accentuates your figure. Right. Oh, I was I was hoping you'd be careful. Oh, with that. where is your mind? <laughs> At but, this hour? Wow. <laughs> Terry? Uh-huh. Once again, congratulations. Well, thank you. You are the very first winner of the Breakfast Club t-shirt, and that also might be a trivia question one day. Remember her name, Terry Bryson of Linwood, picked up the very first Breakfast Club t-shirt. Terry, I want to congratulate you once again and, and thank you for sounding so very excited. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was that was really exciting. Yeah. And what is the secret song of this hour? Uh, did we choose one yet? Did we? I don't know, did we? Yeah. I thought we, we did. We, Maybe we should ask the audience the little test to we see if it was We did. Oh, we I did. have the secret Hurry, song. Make it quick. It's Richard Marks, Children of the Night. That's your secret song. Be caller 10 at 255-4002. Good morning, KDEC time, 717. This is the Breakfast Club Show. Rick Kelly in the morning. And I'm having trouble hearing myself this morning for some odd reason. And uh, we're waiting on the secret song of the day, and that is uh, Michael Bolton. How am I supposed to live without you? You, you want to listen for that and be caller 10 at 255-4002. And I just got word from our promotions director, Cliff Alvarez, who's in the other room. And thanks for him. He lines up all of our celebrities that we have on the show. He's a wonderful guy, Great I think. Guy. Yes, he is. And he, t he, tells us that <laughs> he tells us that we got some uh, celebrities 
on line, what line are they on? Uh, try line five. Try line five. And I have no idea who this is. This okay. is a big surprise, and I'm excited to hear. Hi, who's this? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, uh, uh, we, like, are calling to, like, <laughs> some shirts so, uh, so we could get dates. <laughs> it's Beavis and Butthead, everybody! Oh, Beavis and Butthead! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we want the shirt so we can get some chicks, yeah. Chicks are cool. <laughs> so wait, wait, so wait. Beavis and Butthead, you're calling the show, the Breakfast Club show, all thanks to Cliff Albert as the promotions director, and you want to get some Breakfast Club t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, we want some chicks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, give us some shirts. Oh, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I don't either. This is sick. I never thought we would have these bozos on our show. It is the Breakfast Club Show. k time is 8.31. And joining us now live on the Breakfast Club Show, I'm proud to announce we got Beavis and Butthead on the show. Hello, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> cool. So you guys are looking, you guys have been listening to the show, obviously. You guys you guys need dates. We all watch Beavis and Butthead and MTV. You guys need dates, and you guys want to score the Breakfast Club T-shirts. Uh, um, but you know what? We don't have Metallica or ACD printed on the T-shirts. Uh, uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> did you say ABC or ACDC? Did I, did I say ACDC or ABC? ABC. You know, they, they wear the ACDC shirts yeah. and the Metallica shirts. Yeah. And I just wanted to let Beavis and Butthead know that we don't yeah. we don't have that printed on our T-shirts. It's just Breakfast Club with my goofy mug on it and the k -Duck. And why am I talking so fast this morning? It's the excitement of having a celebrity. Yes, yes. Yeah. Beavis and Butthead, are, are you there? Uh, yeah. Do uh, <laughs> we, like, get, the, get some chicks? <laughs> you, you get chicks if you wear these T-shirts, you guys. Cool. That's what it's all about. That we're passing it out now to the high desert. We want everybody to have a companion. That's why we made these T-shirts. You are guaranteed to get dates with these T-shirts. <laughs> and if we pass them along to you, Beavis and Butthead, you guys are guaranteed to get T-shirts. But you must wear it on MTV on your show. Uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. You guys rule. The Breakfast Club rule. <laughs> 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 This is unreal. This is unbelievable. Beavis and Butthead, we're going to send you guys out a t-shirt. How's that? Oh, cool. Yeah. Settle down, Beavis. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seth, Did you set I'm the cat on I'm fire? I'm sweating. I'm hot in this room. Like, I'm like, hello. Hey, Beavis and Butthead, I want to thank you guys for joining the show. You can call us anytime. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> guys are roll. You guys roll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, gosh, this is the Breakfast Club Show. Oh. K-Duck time is 8.32. The secret song of this morning is Michael Bolton. How am I supposed to live without you? We call a 10 right now, 255-4002. Good luck. <laughs> what did I say? Did I mess it up? <laughs> I did, I make, did I get you confused? Because I'm confused right now. It's the sugar from the donuts. Yeah, yeah, too many donuts. And thanks again to the people at Starlight yes. Donuts for dropping off yes. the donuts. Uh, this morning, we thank you for that, and uh, they got some. What is the special going on from oh, two yeah. o'clock to closing? Two o'clock to closing. It's a dozen donuts for two ninety nine. The only catch, the only catch is they have to have a hole. And they what? Works. They have to have a hole. The donuts have to have a hole. Oh God! You're no, not me. the. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> Not the customers. It flows no. standing, flow standing no, right no, there, no. too. Fritters, you see your eyes pop out. Well, fritters are out. Maple bars are out, I would assume. Unless uh -huh. you, what if you shove your finger through? You know, then you've got done with hole. No, no. Okay, trivia question. Wait, wait. Trivia wait, question. She's leaving. I think see, well, that did it. Yeah. You got, it. You got it. <laughs> I pushed the envelope a little too far. Okay, let's get to it. Time is running okay, out. The breakfast yes. club. k -Duck time is 8.51. And, uh... Brian, yeah, yeah. Brian, Brian, have you have you seen Sean? Uh, I, you know what? I don't, I, I don't know where he went. Where, where is he? I have no idea. The he guy's, here. he's always out uh, doing something. He, he was here. I think he's at the door right now. I is think he? he's at the door right now. There he is. Open it up. Sean, get in here. Yeah, come, You're in. come on in. Uh, where, right. where have you been, son? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where uh, have you been? Well, uh, uh, don't go into the men's room for about the next uh, ten minutes <laughs> till we take a till we take a break. I'll, I'll take care of it. Yeah, sorry. Uh, watch That's all right. Let's yeah. talk about what's going to happen uh, today. Uh, we've got so many things. I'm excited. I was I I was sleepless last night because it's the Arby's thing today at 12 o'clock to 1:30. Oh, yes. oh yeah. The free yeah. lunch deal. No purchase is necessary. All you got to do is visit Arby's in Linwood. 
or uh, Barstow and pick up your free lunch ticket. Again, no purchase is necessary. There is no catch. A lot of people calling up out oh, there. must be a catch to this. And how many tickets did you say have been given away? Uh, hundreds. Wow. Hundreds. Wow. Uh, so we're going to have a... Hopefully, hopefully our two fans will show up out of the three to four hundred. <laughs> the nicest tickets. guys right. you want to meet. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, our two fans will show up for this. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm really, I, I'm hungry too. So mm. I will feast, and I, we hope that you come on out and do the same thing too, and meet us, and we'll be giving away some serious stuff. We'll be giving away. Uh, we will show um, our Breakfast Club T-shirts off today. Yes. Yes. That's, mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Breakfast Club T-shirts will be showing off today at Arby's. Hey, wait, he's not wearing his. Brian's not wearing his shirt. He's Brian, wearing where's your shirt at? He's wearing his shirt, but it's not uh, the shirt. Well, you know, you know how they uh, tend to get you dates. Well, I had it on last night, uh -huh. and uh, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> well, that's good. That sounds like good news, right? I think I need another one, Rick. <laughs> well, I don't know. You can't be a member of the Breakfast Club if you don't have your shirt with you. I mean, come on, guy. Absolutely. Get with it. This is day five of the Breakfast Club show. Kato time is 6.14. Good morning to everybody. And let's have fun today. Let's start off and give away some tickets for the heck of things, all right? Yeah. What do you guys want to give away this morning? Uh, uh, Angel tickets. Wait, wait, let's have a quick meeting. Let's have a quick meeting. Angel tickets. Angel tickets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Call or 10 right now, 255-4002. Good morning, KDEC time, 615. It's that time again. It's time again for our secret song of the day, at least our first secret song of the day. And listen up, folks. We're only going to say this uh, about four or five times, but <laughs> this is the first time. Uh, the secret song for this hour... What is it? What is, is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Is You're in Love by Wilson Phillips. By Wilson Phillips. You're in Love by Wilson Phillips. Make sure you listen to uh, that song. When you hear that song, be caller 10 on the Breakfast Club uh, hotline. That is 255-4002. Every morning, uh, we request one thing. Just one thing only. And what is that? Donuts, 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 donuts. Oh, That's pretty good, guys. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so if anybody out there would like to come on by the radio station and drop off some donuts, that would be so kind of you. Please. If you could do something like that, please, 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 please. We don't eat much around here, so we request uh, donuts <laughs> if you want to bring coffee or orange juice. Talk for yourself, dude. Except Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so we have so much fun. So come on by, meet us. We, we're still looking for our two fans. So if yeah. you're one of our two fans, come on by, bring the donuts. We want to know what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and and if you're worried about oh the five or six dollars on whatever it costs, we'll take care of that for you. Brian will give you some money. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Mix the big bucks. Yeah. yeah. And if you're a business out there and you're listening to our show, which I'm sure you are, you can do the same thing too. We'll give you a free plug, like we did Starlight Donuts yesterday. They yeah. were very kind to drop off the uh, donuts yesterday to us, and they brought us what. 45 donuts we counted? Something like that. We and still have them. We do. The boxes, yeah, I didn't you I see had the boxes? A good, I front. had a good 20 of them yesterday. You had half of them? Well, they're still here. <laughs> <laughs> they won't go away. The donuts that wouldn't die. All right, what are we going to talk about this morning? We got the Arby's thing Arby's. again coming up at yes. uh, less than five, five and a half hours. Five hours and 27 minutes from now. Is I'm that right? already hungry. Yes. yes. Exactly. Arby's sandwich. What are, we, what are they going to give out? <laughs> the Breakfast Club language barrier in full yes. effect here. <laughs> it is, um, we're going to be at Arby's this afternoon from 12 to 1.30. And uh, all you got to do is visit Arby's in Linwood or Barstow and pick up your free lunch ticket. Again, 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 no purchase is. Thank you, and thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. This is Elvis Presley with the Breakfast Club. See, I get that lip thing going when I start doing Elvis Presley. Doesn't that hurt? That lip thing just, just pops up. Yeah. This is Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club Show. Good morning to you, everybody. Good morning to you guys, too. I'm excited. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Well, and for some of us. Yes, and we got this big uh, Arby's thing happening today. We're going to be talking about that as yeah. much as possible because we are trying to make sure we get our two listeners to come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we can get our two listeners, two listeners, uh, well, here we go again. <laughs> Breakfast Club uh, language barrier in full effect. It is uh, the Breakfast Club show. Okay, our time is 7.16. And again, we want you guys to come out to the Arby's thing at 12 o'clock today. For our fr We're doing this free lunch. And uh, I went blank. I just <laughs> went blank. Oh, the uh, live broadcast. The live yes. broadcast. Oh, yeah. Plus, we'll be giving away our Breakfast Club t-shirts. We'll be showing that off for the first time in public. And uh, Angel's tickets and uh, some other things we might be giving away, too. Plus, it's your chance to meet us. 
<laughs> and also, and also, uh, we are looking for what again on everyday show again. Let's make sure everybody knows this is day five. Let's give a nice hand for us. We made it. We made it through uh, day four. We are now day five, and again after the show, <laughs> Barstow uh, held hostage. We uh, we met Flo, the general manager, and uh, Bob Jordan, the operations manager. We have like a little critique session after mm -hmm. each show, and again we got spanked. Yeah. But they never tell us why we got spanked. That's why we're doing the show standing right now. <laughs> exactly. We're still sore. But we like it. Yes, we we like to get spanked. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, no. <laughs> Here comes Flo again. Don't encourage them. Here comes Flo again through the doors. You know, that's, that's a spooky thing when Flo walks in. Well, she has that sign on her door. Yeah, what's that? You know she has that sign on the door. What, the beatings sign? will continue. Until I know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to walk by. Yeah. I'm afraid to walk by her door half the time. But what she does is, what she does is, every now and then, you guys, wait, close to the mic, close yeah, to the mic. Okay. <laughs> and, and what, she, what she normally does is she'll come through the studio door, okay, mm -hmm. and she'll sneak to the back where there's this glass door, glass uh, door, and she stand there and she'll stand there and watch us. And she can hear everything that we do. Evil. But, but we can't see her. That's just the thing. So that's what we got to be careful of. You know, we got to be careful. That's why we get spanked every morning after the Breakfast Club show. But uh, <laughs> so just be careful. I'm, I'm, my, that's the best my, part of the job. Yeah, my, my butt, my right cheek is still red. That's why I'm kind of leaning to the left, if you guys noticed already. <laughs> so we just got to be careful for that. And uh oh. Shh, there she is. Be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. Where's she going? See, see. Now she thinks that she's slick, but we can see her. All right, just be cool, you guys, and let's, right. let's act serious. Because right. I don't want to get spanked again. I want to have a good, good, smooth weekend. Yes, yeah, so how do you feel about the economy? Yes. <laughs> the economy is still suffering, my friend, yes. but we will get back in time in, I think, the year of 95. Is she gone yet? <laughs> she's still there. She's still there. <laughs> it is the Breakfast Club Show. Kid up time is 719, and like every morning we were saying, we are waiting on our... Donuts, 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 donuts. Hey, we got it that time. And later on in the show, we got the rumor of the day. Oh, a juicy one, too. A rumor of the day. And we have a special. It's a sad one. A sad one. It's a special guest. Okay, and a special guest. And do you know who that special guest is, Brian? Do you have any idea? Cliff Alvarez, the uh, wonderful promotions director, set this up again. And if anybody, if you're just tuning in and you missed yesterday's show, you know who you missed? Yeah. Elvis Presley was in studio mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Beavis and Butthead. Mm -hmm. oh, they called yeah. in to get their Breakfast Club t-shirt yeah. because they want dates. They want chicks, as they were saying. And the rumor of the day was read by none other than uh, Robin Leach. Robin Leach was also here. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And uh, who's going to be our special celebrity guest for today? The one, the only. The only. Get ready for this. Oh, I'm Tune in. It's worth it. Ooh. Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roger Rabbit will join us. Do we know what time that uh, Roger is coming in? Uh, I would look from uh, before. I, would, I think before it's, I think it's I would, uh, yeah, I think it's in this hour. Cliff yeah. said it. Cliff's a wonderful guy. You just got to give him a high five. When but I don't know. Roger's kind of temperamental. You never know. Yeah, you never know. But tune in for that because Roger Rabbit does have the rumor of the day. And also we're going to we're gonna go to Sean in Studio 5 to talk about the... Uh, I'm sitting the, right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Thanks a lot, Sean. Thanks a lot. I'm sorry. Just, this is radio. Yeah. You played with the people's minds. Illusion. Oh, yes. The palatial. The palatial K Duck Studios. <laughs> this is a beautiful studio. They did a whole. They padded it all for us. And they, it's like a mental institute. I like they, thought, they thought ahead. They planned ahead. Exactly. Yeah. This is the Breakfast Club Show. K Duck Time. Seven twenty at ourselves and just start laughing. But Kelly, I need your help. Can you please tell the listeners out there what the secret song of this hour is, please? Uh, the secret song is Wilson Phillips, You Are In Love. Caller 10, Wilson Phillips, You Are In Love. That's right, Kelly. Thank you very much for calling in. We'll talk to you next hour. Okay. Canada Time, 728. You're listening for Wilson uh, Phillips. Excuse us. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Madonna, <laughs> you fool. I don't even know the words to this song. Baby. <laughs> Can rock it all night. One thing I know I can do right. Well, there's one thing I know we can do wrong, is we had. <laughs> we 
we had uh, Kelly. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm eating this uh, Kelly. Uh, uh, juice bar here. And uh, we had Kelly introduce the <laughs> this hour's uh, secret song, and she uh -huh. actually gave last hour's secret song, which was Wilson Phillips, You Are In Love. And let's make a correction. This yeah. hour's uh, secret song is Madonna Borderline. That's Madonna Borderline. Let's make a correction on yeah. that. When you have traffic do something for you, they mess it up. So you want to listen for <laughs> listen for Madonna Borderline, and that will never happen again. I'll never ask Kelly to do anything for us again. You're staring at me like you want to say something. Uh, clams got legs. <laughs> I think you need a checkup too. This is the Breakfast Club Show. Rick Kelly in the morning, along with Sean and Brian. Say hello, fellas. Hello, fellas. Oh, baby, I love your way. Every day, day. yeah, yeah. Every day, yeah, yeah. so long before my I don't know the words across the page. from the city. Yeah. But don't come, no, 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 Sean, get over here. Come on. I wonder how they have Don't rip his hair off. You're choking him. <laughs> like Ladies and gentlemen, Sean just pulls off uh, Brian's head and practically choked him to death. No, no, no. Excuse me. Every day, yeah, yeah. I wanna be with you night and day. Oh baby, oh baby, please. Oh man, this is too wild. It's the Breakfast Club Show. Rick Kelly along with Brian and Sean and the uh, that was pretty good, guys. I think we did good. Did you hear Elvis? Elvis got Breakfast Club. What's that? The former Breakfast Club. <laughs> former Breakfast Club. I can see Flo and Bob Jordan coming up. And they're they're going to be arriving in like the next 10 minutes. Every Friday. Every Friday we should assassinate the top 40. That, that, this is a new feature, folks. Okay, what is that secret song that we are listening for, we're waiting for? Does anybody know? Well, we know. What, what is it? What is it? I forgot. I think it's well, Wilson Phillips. No, no, no. That's what Kelly said on traffic. That's wrong. It's not Wilson Phillips. It is uh, Madonna Borderline. That's what we're waiting for, right? Which is about where our jobs are. Islands in the sun. Oh, I don't know the words. But I love the song anyway. And we got to give a big hand for Roger Rabbit, who just visited us now, who just joined us now for the rumor of the day. Roger, take it away. Thank you. Those people did it to laugh. <laughs> Casper, the friendly ghost, has raked in millions of dollars over the past 50 years, but incredibly, Joe Oriolo, who created the cartoon character, received a mere $175. <laughs> That's because the cartoonist, who died eight years ago, mistakenly sold all his rights to Casper in 1944. <laughs> That was Roger Rabbit. That was good. Yeah. Roger, thanks for joining the Breakfast Club show. Kevin yeah. time is 8 0. Let's give away something. We got to give away one of these Breakfast Club t shirts. What do you guys say? Yeah! Yeah! Let's do it! No! God, see, I told you he needs help. Decaf. What you gonna do? <laughs> Decaf. <laughs> <Wait now. laughs>
<laughs> okay. I'm saying you need help. I'm, I'm not even trying to be funny right now. He needs help. No donuts for this guy. He doesn't need the sugar. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, my Lord. This poor child. He needs help. Uh, the mattress is over there. Okay. <laughs> Man. This is the Breakfast Club Show. Rick Kelly in the morning. K-Duck time is 8.07. Be sure to listen for that big grand prize winner. It could happen next. Hey, you know, I just had a thought. I've been in love before. Time is... What's the time, fellas? It's K-Duck time is 8.15. 8.15 in the morning. 45 minutes. 45 minutes before 9 o'clock. What are you screaming in the background? It's 8.15 and 20 seconds. 8.15 and 24 seconds. Okay. 8.15 right, and right, 20. All right, all right, all right. The tone, the time will be shut up. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can't take time. All right. It's 8.15, uh, 45 minutes before 9 o'clock, and 45 minutes before we draw that big name. The big name for the San Diego uh, summer vacation stuff, which consists of all kind of great things. That's right, Rick. Oh, God, the nice smooth segue. <laughs> Each prize package concludes four tickets to world-famous San Diego Zoo, four tickets to the San Diego Wild Animal Park, four passes to SeaWorld Plus, deluxe hotel accommodations at the beautiful SeaWorld Sports Arena Area Travel Lodge. Back to you, Rick. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm doing some other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd sneak on you. All right, and we're still, we got 45 minutes, and we haven't received our... Donuts, 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 donuts. So we are waiting on that. And also, the countdown is on. What's What, what did I miss? The countdown is on uh, for the Arby's free lunch. Yes. And all of our two listeners, I hope you guys show up there today. <laughs> there you go. He's counting on his Three fingers. Hours and 45, 40, He's counting on his fingers. 40. <laughs> at 12 o'clock today it's the Arby's K-Duck free lunch uh, we'll broadcast live with the breakfast club we'll be there live and in fresh Happy what, flesh? The breakfast flesh. club will be there for lunch we'll be there for lunch well, that makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense, but we'll have some lunch. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Cliff, Cliff Alvarez, oh, Cliff the Alvarez. Oh, yeah. director. <laughs> what a jerk. And uh, we'll be there at 12 o'clock today till 1.30 for the uh, Arby's K-Duck uh, free lunch barbecue sandwich in that small pink lemonade. That cool, refreshing drink. That cool, refreshing drink. You got a fried pizza. So come on out there. We want to get our two listeners. If we can get our two listeners out there today, I'll be very, very excited. Just us three and, and the uh, our two And your mom and dad. <laughs> my mom and dad, the two listeners. The two listeners. Yeah. So come on out, and all you got to do, all you got to do is right when Arby's opens today, what, 9, 30, 10 o'clock? I'm not sure. Whatever time they open, just get in line and get your free lunch ticket so you can show up at 12 o'clock and grub, eat, feast. And watch us act stupid. You know what would be really ironic is if we get there and they're out of food. Wouldn't that be something? I, I <laughs> we're like the last three guys in line and that's it. Yeah. So we're <laughs> no lunch. That's not cool. You just want curly fries. That's all you want. I want Chris Cuts. Oh, I mean um, curly fries. Sorry. Curly fries. <laughs> Do they still have the sh <laughs> See, okay. <laughs> you, you just witnessed it for the first time, Sean. What? How psycho this man is. Tell, him, tell the listeners what he just did. He, he just hurled himself against a wall. Yeah. Luckily, luckily, the wall was covered with a, a, a material called Sonix, which is this uh, foam, and that sort of softened the blow, but it's the wall I'm worried about. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Man, that's gotta hurt. But the people gotta realize why we're laughing, because he is he has a problem. He just bounces off. And you're gonna want to meet this guy today, yeah. <laughs> Come on down, folks. He's seriously... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> down to Arby's. We'll be there. Oh, man. Oh, God. Was that a Lander's aftershock, or was that him moving around the room? Again, he just bounced himself off the wall. What's wrong with you? Brian. Yeah. Brian. Brian. It's all this news, man. All right, man. That's can't enough, take that's it. Enough, that's enough. Oh. Can, can talk time is 819. Be listening for the grand prize winner that could be next. Listen for your name. Everybody, sing along. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? The Breakfast Club Show, Monday through Friday from 6 to 9 with a cast of crazy that everybody sings. 
Today's show was written by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Today's show was produced by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Today's show was directed by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Today's show was composed by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Today's show was arranged by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Today's show was performed by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Static and dead air, courtesy of Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Rick Kelly's hair by Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Sean McDevitt's tie, courtesy of Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. And baby Huey's underwear. Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. Copyright 1994. Guess who? Rick Kelly in the Breakfast Club. And we'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.